Everybody calls me amazing. I'm the face behind Stitcher's Fashion Training School. The ones that actually graduated, we're looking at students that actually did graduate. We should have above 500. My advice to the young ones now, be quick in making your decision. Face it squarely. Just do it. Don't wait to figure everything out. Start something and start fast. Stella, Stella Everybody calls me Amazing Grace. Okay, I'm the face behind Stitcher's Fashion Training School. And basically, this is me. For now, can all of us walk between 4, 4.5? Actually, Stitcher's is a journey. And the vision keeps changing. Stitch Art actually started as first Amazing Grace. Then, before we got to the journey Stitch Art. Then Amazing Grace was just a young lady who wants to make ends meet. I'm actually not one of those people who dabbled into fashion because I fell in love with the field, you know? I'm among those people who came into this field looking for a means of livelihood. Then along the journey, I fell in love. It was not love at first sight for me in the fashion industry. No, it was not. For me, it was first a means to make money. Then I was looking at what should I do? Should I do, should I go into hairdressing? I needed, I know I don't want to do nine to five, no. I needed to work for myself. So it was, it's a journey that has been changing. Then eventually Stitch Art was floated to 11, where it was now formal that it's a school. Since I don't intend to change anything, I'm already in it and I like or love my job. So I'll say challenges and everything, it is, it's okay. Challenges and everything, it's, I think it's part of the whole package. If I remove the challenge, then the good aspect of it has to go. So it's for me, both the challenge, everything, it's for me, it's been a wonderful experience. This one now is function. It's, it's, a, it's function. We're not even seeing it, so it's not designing. We want it as designing. Oh, because I have to start from Wari, then Enugu, then Oka, plus minus. I've lost count, but I know that it's a little bit above the ones that actually graduated because we can't be put into consideration students that dropped out. We have cases like that. So if we're looking at students that actually did graduate, we should have above 500. That actually finished, that we can count, out. we don't count them as dropouts. They, they should be above 5,800. 8, 5, this is cool aspect of it as the teaching as me as a fashion tutor is we are roughly 15 years now. The situation Nigeria situation plus minus does not really matter on one wanting knowing what he or she wants to do. And it's important you get you catch you get your vision early. Get it straight. You might need mentoring. Truth be told, somebody's life actually mentored me into choosing this. When I when I was at that junction of what do I choose? 
So my advice to them is be quick about it. You can't forever stay at a T-junction where you don't know what to do. Then be ready to face it. Once you are determined, you see every... I don't see most things I see as problem. I see them as challenge I have to summon. That's the way I see it. I see them as... There's always a way around something. So my advice to the young ones now, be quick in making your decision. Face it squarely. And just do it. Don't wait to figure everything out. Start something and start fast. Oh, in fact, we are in another phase of teachers as we speak now. We've been offline for a long time and we are planning the, the market phase is changing and we need to stay in tune with the market phase. So the next phase of teachers is almost 60% uh, presence online while we still maintain the physical presence, 40%. So you'll be seeing more of us. We want to be able to reach people beyond what our physical space can reach. So that's where we are now, and we are working towards it.